Welcome to the customer journey course. In this course, we're gonna be teaching you guys about the process of marketing and why it's so important for us to understand the difference between marketing and in sales. So why is it so important to understand the process of marketing? Well, let's take a look, right? If you're a salesperson and you understand uh, sales, you know that a lot of things are in control as far as how many calls you're making, the scripts you're saying, uh, overcoming objection. There's a lot of things that you feel in control of. With marketing, it's com complete opposite. It's all psychological and strategy. This is why when it comes to marketing sales, uh, there's a lot of tension, but there shouldn't be because there are two different things that should be working together to grow a business. And so uh, once marketing and sales kind of work together, that's when a business really starts to flourish, okay? What is the process? What is this whole customer journey? What is it all about? Well, it's basically, like I said, the marketing strategy, the marketing process that goes into this. And it all starts with the, the, the customer journey pyramid, okay? Now we all know about these funnels. Um, it's, there's a ton of funnels out there. People teach about these funnels all the time but I did something different and I did a, a, a customer journey pyramid and here's why. Because as a business owner, it's not as simple as just putting together a campaign and it just falls in place and your business grows, right? It's investing in your business. So just like the food pyramid, we're investing in the nutrients that are going in our bodies. We have to know what to eat so that way we get the right nutrients. It's the same thing when it comes to marketing we have to know how we're investing our money in order to generate results. And the first portion of this, uh, you notice at the base of this pyramid is awareness. This is the first step of the customer journey. Do people know you exist? And where did they find you? Did they hear about you on social media? Did they hear about, did they find you on search engines? It's just the awareness that they know you exist. Now, just like in sales, we all know this, right? That the, the conversion doesn't happen on the first call. It may happen on the second call, I mean the seventh call, the fifth, right? You have to have uh, so many contacts with them in order for, it, for them to make a buying decision. It's the same thing in marketing. The first step is, hey, here we are, we exist. But the second part is getting in front of them again and having them engage with your business. Now this could be clicks to your website. This could be likes and comments on your posts. This could be video views. However, they're, whatever they're doing, they're engaging with your business, they're paying attention to what you're having to say, which then takes them to the next step, which is that conversion. All business owners love conversion, right? They love the leads coming in. They love the, the revenue coming in when it converts from lead to, to a buying experience for the, for the user. But it doesn't stop there. A lot of businesses fail because what they do is they focus so much on the awareness, engagement, and conversion phase they forget about their own product and service and bettering their product or service. You know, the better that the product or service is, the more people get excited about the product, okay? Or the service that you're providing, which then gets them to the next phase of this, which is the delight. Is your product or service giving them the excitement to be excited about what the product or service is doing for them so that they become advocates, which then takes them to the application, giving you Google reviews, Yelp reviews, uh, giving you referrals, right? So as you can see, it, the, the process of sales and marketing should be similar, but a lot of people, what they, they don't understand the process of marketing, which then gives them that, that tension between marketing and sales. And just like any good process, it should be repeatable, which is why we created this flywheel. You notice that if you spin a flywheel, it'll keep on spinning, spinning, and spinning. In this case, if you do the process right, it should continue. It, you start with awareness, right? And people know you exist. Then it goes into engagement. People are engaging with your business. Then they convert into leads or sales. Finally, they get so excited. They're like, I need to give you a review on Google or I need to send you a friend of mine to talk to you. And then that awareness continue. And then it, that person that was referred or saw that review on, on Google then takes you to awareness again. More people are aware, more people are engaged, more people convert more people are excited about your product and happy about your product or service, and then the cycle continues. Referrals, reviews, awareness, engagement, conversion, delight. In this next course, the lesson of this course, we're gonna be talking about awareness and how you strategize your awareness process through your marketing journey.